So, with the little bit of money we made from our mule deer, we have now ventured up to this outpost, which we're going to be claiming and going straight to the gun locker. We can either decide to get the Solokin or get the 30 out 6 and buy bullets for one or the other. If you have both the uh, weapon pack 2 and weapon pack 3, they are going to be free, but the ammunition still costs a bit of money. So, we're just going to have a look in here and see what kind of money they take for the 30 out 6. That's. We could probably do with the soft points to start off with just to save a bit of money because then I think we can get both for um, Mosin and no, that's gonna be close uh, We can get both and As it's DLC weapons they are free and this is why it is so good to have the DLCs for the weapon packs There we go with 30 odd six and we get the Solokin for free as well now all we need is a better scope. And we did obtain a single point as well. And as you're just starting out, I would always advise you to go into the stalker tree first. Just go and try to get that one and that that one as soon as possible. They're gonna make it so much easier for you to run around on the maps, especially soft feet. It gets you a lot closer to the animals before you're spooking them. So I would always advise you to go into the stalker tree first. So the second animal we're going to be shooting is going to be this mythical puma down here. We made a quite a long ride on the ATV all the way down here just because this is basically one of my hotspots for a lot of animals. There is all kinds of animals down here and you nearly always find quite a few different ones drinking. And now we have the 30 odd 6. It should actually be quite simple to take it down. And there even is another one over there if we do feel like we want a challenge. But it is going to be a little harder as we cannot reload within the scope of it. So let's just try here. Oh, that's going to be far away, but... Um, oh, no. That's not good. It's a black buck. Could shoot that. That's good money. That should be an easy kill. Did we hit a tree or did we hit that thing? We shot it with the 30 out 6, so it should go down pretty fast. I have no idea where the puma went. Not really caring too much either. Let's see if we can get that one on the run. It's a dumb shot to take. We did not hit that. I don't like the scope. But we did get the black box, so we do have a little bit more cash that we can splash around with now. We did shoot it with a big caliber, but it did go down and we still got 903 cash. That is also one of the good reasons why getting the big calibers kind of fast is not a bad idea, because it makes you a lot of money fast. And we found the red deer over there as well. We can nail one of those with a cheeky long shot on this distance. I think that should be some decent money too. I believe he is gonna go down at some point. Oh, god damn it. I'm a noob. And if that thing is gonna go down as well, it is the soft point, so we might. Oh, that's not a good sign. Might not be. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And what I'm doing here is that I'm using my map to my advantage. These purple spots on the map is called hunting pressure. They come in four different levels. They start off with this small bright one you have to the right there. That's a single animal and they appear once you have killed an animal. If the animal dies, a purple spot will appear. And the spot appears where you hit the animal the first time. Now to the left we have hunting pressure level 2 because we got two overlapping hunting pressures and this creates a little more hunting pressure and it's a little darker. But you can have up to level 4 hunting pressure. If you hit level 4 hunting pressure, you're going to be removing need zones. So in general, don't do that if you want to be hunting those areas a lot. The game is so much easier now when you have access to the weapon packs rather than when we started with only the 243 and that was it. Just look at that kind of blood. I have no idea what distance we shot it at, but it should be around, what, 180, 200 meters at least. 214 right long. Oh, we got full quick kill as well. And look at the amount of cash. We're just picking up 1,351 by this single one. And I think we actually did get a decent shot on the other one over here as well. Oh, look at that. That's a vital. That is a vital. Oh. 
and that's the other one that didn't go far either i think that's close to a full quick kill as well it is indeed another 1300 now we can go and buy the 22 lr or the pistol if we want to do that because we can afford the money to do so and we leveled up again hooray look at us being all kinds of pro at this game and there we go buy the virand go and buy some 22 ammo as well and just top up on the other ones that we already have a few of. We might as well just run with the uh, soft points. They seem to be doing pretty well. And where is the Solokin? There we go. All good. Now, we should be ready for the next one.